happy almost Halloween. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome to my porch. Uh, I don't normally film my intro out here, but frankly, my house is a mess and I can't quite bring myself to clean it enough to film in there. So, you know, listen, it's not a studio, it's my house. And currently it's Show. Um, well, I'm very happy you're here today. If this is your first video, my name is Orly. This is the DIY designer. I do super fun DIY fashion, personal style development, helping you unlock your unique sense of personal style, styling hacks, all sorts of fun stuff every Sunday. And today is really fun. Here's the thing. I hate Halloween. Okay, I hate Halloween, it stresses me out, I don't like dressing up, I get annoyed, but then the day comes and I always regret like not being in the vibe. So I like to somehow be a part of the Halloween spirit without having a costume, and I thought it would be super fun to create a very last minute, you could do this in 20 minute DIY, that works for any holiday, that gets you in the holiday spirit in a very like cool, casual, comfy kind of a way. So what we're gonna do is a take on this DIY. This is a DIY that I did probably like five years ago where I took a denim jacket and I cut it out and I added this like sheer embroidered floral panels. This jacket was a huge DIY for me and it got me thinking, what if we made a panel out of a fabric for Halloween, but that could then maybe be pulled off and you could then do something for Christmas, you could do something sparkly for New Year's Eve, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, like any holiday. I thought like, ooh, that's kind of a fun idea. If you do wanna make this something that is swappable, I'd actually recommend using um, snap tape and only doing the back panel. And you would put some snap tape, which I think would be really cool. You can just yank off the old panel, pop on a new one, and you've got something that is specific for each holiday. What you need for this DIY, your jacket. I'm doing a jean jacket. You don't need to, you can do any jacket you want, but I do think that the shape and the panels on a jean jacket lend itself really nicely to this DIY. You need fabric glue, fabric scissors, and your fabric. I'd say about a yard is probably plenty. I bought two yards and I've got way more than I need. Um, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I hope that you enjoy it. I'm not gonna do my normal modeling session um, this week. I'm just gonna show you guys the outfit that I created for our like trunk or treat that we've got at the kids' school so you'll get a sense of it. Um, okay, I love you guys, enjoy. Alrighty, so I went to Joann's and I found this amazing skull lace fabric. Now the cool thing about Joann's is number one, you guys are probably gonna have access to all of these same fabrics, but number two, they always have seasonal fabrics. They have so many options, so if you do decide to make this kind of a revolving holiday inspired jacket, you can find exactly what you're gonna need probably at your local Joann's and if you're close enough to the holidays, they'll be on sale, like this was 40% off. So I got two yards of the skull uh, black lace, way more than I needed, but you know, I want it to be safe. Now you want to cut a little snippet into your fabric that's like a pilot hole that then gives your scissors access to the edge of your fabric. I don't, I didn't realize uh, it was on manual. Um, it does fix itself in a few minutes, but just be patient with me. So I am cutting as close to the edge as possible. And as you can see with my left hand, I'm pulling the fabric away. And with the scissors in my right, I'm pushing it the opposite direction. This is sort of creating tension so that I can get all the way to the edge and cut it super clean. Another thing you wanna to try to do is only cut one section at a time because the minute you cut something out, the, the jacket sort of loses its shape. It loses like the right fit. And you don't wanna have so many open loose areas that it's very hard to maintain the original shape. So you wanna lay it flat, make sure that all of the seams look like they're laying flat, it's squared off, then take your fabric and lay it on top. This is blurry, but you can tell I'm just adding a single line of glue across the top on the edge of the lace where the lace had a binding. Everywhere else though, I'm not gonna do that because it's very holy, right? There's uh, like sporadic pieces where there's no fabric at all. So instead I fold back my lace and I'm only applying the fabric glue to the areas of the lace where there's something solid, adding it to the little webs, adding it to the skulls, only in those places. And then you're gonna fold it down and it's gonna basically tack those into place. Something that's very important with a lace like this is you wanna give yourself at least a minimum of one inch extra all the way around because it is so holy like the cobwebs you want to be able to anchor more areas into place than just those little cobwebs because even if you sewed it those little areas would want to pull away so again you're going to add your glue and you can cut off your excess but make sure that you give yourself at least an extra inch now it was here where i was trying to decide do i just want the back like the back is so fun. The front of the jacket looks really good. I ultimately decided I'm gonna go for it. This is gonna be a Halloween-y jacket and I want the whole thing to be uh, Halloween-ified. So I'm cutting out these two top panels and the good thing is when you have an area like that, once you cut it out, you can essentially use that as a pattern. 
I started cutting out the side here and all of a sudden I was like, oh no, the pocket. <laughs> I forgot about the pocket. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to just glue it back down and pretend I had never cut it or am I gonna cut it and have the pocket exposed? Am I gonna cut the pocket out? I wasn't sure, but I decided to at least cut it out and I would decide later. Now I'm using this piece as a guide. Number one, you wanna cut outside of your pattern piece, again, enough that you've got at least an inch all the way around, if not more. And number two, make sure that you flip one of them so that you have a mirrored right and left. Same process, the area of your lace that has a more solid edge, you can do a straight line. The rest of it, you're gonna spot it and do it just directly on the lace, making sure to go further than you need so that you've got a lot more strength than just those tiny little cobwebs. Now, it was time to make a decision here. I ultimately decided to just cut out the pocket because when I put the jacket on, it the pockets weren't really in the right place for me anyway, so I cut it out. And then I cut out more and then I cut out more. And ultimately I just went here. Now, had I known I was gonna do this the whole time, I could have made the entire front one single panel and it would have been easier. But sometimes you just gotta go and go and, and sort of let it develop as you go and make game time decisions. That's what I did. So it made it a teeny bit more complicated because it was two separate pieces, but really still, I mean, I finished this jacket all in all real time in 20 minutes. So this is a very simple DIY. Once you add all of the lace in, just go back in and feel for any holes. Is there anywhere where you didn't glue it down? Is there a little area that you know feels like it's pulling away that you might wanna reinforce with a needle and thread or needs more glue? I had a little spot right there, so I flipped it inside out. I added more glue to the backside and that's it. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna show you how this came out. It's super fun, it's super cute, and I think really easy to do for any holiday if you wanna get in on that last minute spirit like I do. Uh, if you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe, like, comment, Comment. All of those things help the channel so much. So I hope to see you here next week. A bunch of really good DIYs coming up through the holidays. I'd love to have you. All right, you guys, have a beautiful week. Bye. Look, it's done. It's really cool, I gotta say. It's just super fun and easy, and I love that this could be done for any holiday. I think it's super fun. The back panel took 20 seconds to do, but I love it. I feel like I'm showing up to this thing at the kids' school where everyone's gonna be dressed up, and this is a very, like, me way to do Halloween. So it feels very me, it feels very cool. I love it, it's super fun. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was so last minute, but sometimes those are the best DIYs because it's coming to you last minute. Maybe you've got a last minute Halloween party coming up tomorrow or the next day, and this is a really fun way to be in on the Halloween spirit without feeling like you've gotta fully, you know, go in the costume. I'm super into it. <laughs>